It is a gusty, windy son of a gun. Hopefully that's not affecting the camera too much because we've got a very nice trailer here. This is a Bison 380 trail hand. Uh, actually, uh, one owner, we sold it to the original owners here at Haylet Trailers. And, um, you know, the first question you're gonna have is this looks like it's a nice trailer. Why are they getting rid of it? Is there something wrong with it? And the answer is no. Basically, they're just done horsing. That's just the long and the short of it. So this is a, a, a very good, budget-friendly, simple, I don't know, you call it weekend or whatnot, but seven wide, seven, six tall, aluminum skin, uh, small living quarter, three horse slant. It's in great shape, inside and out. I mean, you can see they kept the skin clean. Um, we've got drop windows here for stalls two and three. Nice big tires too if you put some heavy animals in here. Being seven six tall, you can put some bigger stuff in there. We've got a step up with barn doors and it's on a 60-40 split. So if you do have some bigger animals or you like to lead them inside, uh, like beside you, you can do that. But take a look at this. I don't know if they ever even used the saddle rack. There's still the original saddle boss, uh, you know, plastic covers on here. Um, the uh, we've got the uh, you know obviously rubber floor matting pretty common stuff there and nothing too uncommon uh, but the uh, the gates I do like that these are easy one hand operated gates and they're quiet they're not big loud noisy suckers you know um, nice uh, lined kick wall over here too and I do like the little thing even though this is a budget friendly trailer Bison still puts like a little rub guard on the kick wall so that your horse doesn't get a, a hot spot um, you've got uh, you know two way air vents for each animal like you'd expect. Aluminum roof, uh, like I said, aluminum exterior. We've got our um, stud curtain up here. So if you have two horses, you probably want a three horse trailer and turn that into a stuff wall instead of a stud wall, if you will. Um, you know, overall, she's pretty clean outside. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing outside. It does have a push button power awning. Yeah, I don't think they ever use this front stall. I mean, this, you know, your walls and everything are just too clean up here. I think that they were just kind of casual little trail riders who travel around now and then, and they just didn't need a horse trailer anymore. Um, I'm going to shut this door behind me since it's a windy one outside. And I'm going to turn on the uh, batteries because they even, they properly even use the battery disconnect, which it sounds silly that people wouldn't do that, but so many people just don't use the disconnects. Um... The uh, up front here, like I said, seven six tall, so you do have uh, a nice gooseneck bunk area. And they took the original blue wafer that isn't very cushiony, and they put this big residential pillow top in there. So it's actually got a really nice bed. And you do have breeze windows on both sides of the bed, as well as you see outlets up there, so that you have room for like you know CPAP machine or phone charger, or whatever beside you there, with a little bit of a head uh, head uh, wardrobe. These look like standard lights, but that's just a fixture. These are actually all LEDs, so you do have full LED interior lighting, which is a nice touch. Um, apparently they got one light on and one light off up there, because I've been through the trailer and everything works. Uh, the uh, cabinet here, everything looks good. You know, I like the storage right by the door, and that big green bag right there, they're all the original owner's manuals from when we first sold this trailer. It is just in dynamite shape. Let me, uh, I'm gonna climb up here in the gooseneck a little bit and spin you around so you can see some stuff good overhead storage above the uh, sofa there and I really like this big floor to ceiling it can be pantry it can be clothes it can be anything you want and that extra little mirror there never hurts either the uh, sofa right below us this can fold down into a sleeper and that's a nice big long three place sofa so even an adult can sleep on that it's not just a little kitty bed um, looking over here to the kitchenette it does not look like it was used a whole heck of a lot um, you know, neither the microwave nor the stove or fridge, none of this stuff looks like it was really put through its paces. Um, then again, the folks did keep the uh, trailer clean, so if they did use it, which it looks like maybe is used tiny amount, they obviously kept it scrubbed and clean. Like, look at the cleanliness of the sink. Dirty people don't clean sinks. These folks clean the sink. Power outlet and a nice spot for a coffee maker right back here. That's a nice touch, especially, I like the color offset with the partial stainless going on here. Um, let me open this up just to give you a quick peek at her. We'll step back to the bathroom. We'll wrap this one up. This is simple, straightforward, and easy. It's a pretty late model trailer, and you're going to get a used price tag on it. One owner, well kept. Uh, I mean, if, if you're looking for a living quarter horse trailer, but you don't like the new living quarter price tag, my lord, what a great opportunity here. Nice big tall shower. That 7-6 tall ceiling makes lots of room up there. We've got great additional storage and easy access to the water heater for bypassing down there. Uh, as far as I know, it is winterized currently. I tell you what, 
For a simple living quarter, there's a lot of good storage in here. Like even, uh, you know, of course, behind the toilet like you'd expect. But there's even uh, a hanging rod uh, rack or whatever you want to call it up there. So, I mean, this is a sharp piece. Overall, very sharp piece. Simple, but simply effective. There's nothing wrong with that. By the way, air conditioner and furnace in this living quarter. I forgot to mention that sooner. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hail it horse trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy trails, everyone.